Have you ever wondered how the prestigious Nobel Prizes came into existence? Well, let's embark on a journey back to the mid-18th century to a bustling city named Stockholm, the birthplace of a man named Alfred Nobel. Born in 1833, Alfred was mostly self-educated and spent his formative years working in his father's machine shop in distant Russia. This was no ordinary workshop, mind you. It had contracts to build defense weapons for the Russian government. In this environment, Alfred's curiosity led him down a path of experimentation with nitroglycerin, culminating in his groundbreaking invention of dynamite in 1867. Yes, dynamite, a substance synonymous with destruction and chaos. Yet, Alfred, in his optimism, believed that this very invention would be the harbinger of peace, that its sheer destructive power would make wars obsolete. Little did Alfred know his invention would lead him down a path of introspection and transformation. Imagine waking up one day to read your own obituary. How would that make you feel? Picture this, Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, one day found himself in this very situation. A French newspaper had mistakenly published his obituary, bestowing upon him the ominous title of the Merchant of Death. This unexpected incident brought Alfred face to face with the stark reality of how the world perceived his invention. It was far from the peace-promoting tool he had envisioned. Instead, it was seen as a deadly weapon, a tool of destruction. This was a hard pill to swallow for Alfred, a man who truly believed in the power of his invention to foster peace. This was a turning point, a moment of deep introspection. Alfred was confronted with the choice of accepting this legacy or changing it. He chose the latter. He decided to rewrite his own destiny, to alter how history would remember him. This was the genesis of an idea, a simple decision that would lead to the establishment of the Nobel Prizes. Alfred Nobel made a decision that would alter his legacy forever. Ever wondered how a legacy can be changed with a single document? Alfred Nobel's last will and testament did just that, charting a new course for his life's work. Nobel, the Swedish chemist and inventor of dynamite, left behind a will that was nothing short of revolutionary. It outlined his intention to establish a series of prizes that would honor those who have conferred the greatest benefit to mankind. Nobel's will was not without controversy. It was met with a storm of objections and legal challenges. The majority of his wealth was left for the establishment of these prizes, a decision that faced opposition from his relatives and skepticism from various corners of society. Yet, Nobel's vision was clear. He wanted to recognize achievements in physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature and peace. The establishment of the Nobel Prizes was not an easy task. It required the creation of a whole new organization, the Nobel Foundation. This institution was to manage the substantial fortune Nobel had left behind and ensure the proper awarding of the prizes. The formation of the foundation came with its own set of hurdles. It took five years of persistent effort, legal battles, negotiations, and tireless work to set up the Nobel Foundation. The categories for the prizes were not chosen lightly. Nobel had a deep appreciation for the sciences, evident in his selection of physics, chemistry, and medicine. His love for literature was also reflected in the prizes, but perhaps the most poignant of all was the Peace Prize. Nobel, who had invented a tool of war in the hopes of securing peace, wished to honor those who had made significant contributions to the cause of peace. The path to the establishment of the Nobel Prizes was filled with obstacles. It was a journey marked by controversy, legal challenges, and societal opposition. However, the vision of Alfred Nobel prevailed. After a long struggle, the Nobel Foundation was established, paving the way for the first Nobel Prizes. Remembering the 10th of December 1901, a date that marked the beginning of a new era. This was the day when the world saw the first Nobel Prizes being awarded, exactly five years after the death of Alfred Nobel. The significance of this event is monumental. It was a moment that set a precedent for honoring the world's most groundbreaking achievements in physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature, and peace. The Nobel Prizes, born from the will of a man once wrongly dubbed the Merchant of Death, have since become the ultimate accolade in the global academic and peacekeeping communities. Every year on this day, the world pauses to recognize and celebrate human ingenuity, courage, and contribution to society. The Nobel Prizes not only celebrate excellence, but also reflect Alfred Nobel's vision of a peaceful world. 
From a mistaken obituary to the world's most prestigious awards, the journey of the Nobel Prizes is indeed a testament to the power of legacy.